So when you switch it on, does it trip straight away? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's not working. No, oh, that's not working. I expect that one not to be working also. <laughs> that's working. So out of um, one, two, three, four, five, six, we've got one working so far. Uh, there, uh, from this job, um, the, the clients phoned up and said, uh, I think uh, a fuse keep, no, his fuse keep tripping. Um, I think it's an RCD, he, did, he wouldn't know anyway, but he said something keeps tripping. The lights are working, but I think it's the sockets upstairs. So uh, I'm going to go and have a look, hopefully film it and let you see. Thanks for watching. So it's upstairs sockets. So at the moment, have you got anything plugged in? Yeah, I've got like my computer plugged in from home today. Um, upstairs, I mean. Upstairs? Um, no, nothing's plugged in upstairs. Yeah, all the sockets are... Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. So what I've done here, I've disconnected one leg. So when you switch it on, does it trip straight away? Yeah. Okay, cool. Where is there another one that I can get to this easier than that? Are you doing that one? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> I, I, I can get to this too, actually, yeah. All right, yeah, let's try this one, because yeah. what it is, that's quite near the fuse board. This is further away from the fuse board, okay. so I'm more likely to be in the middle of the, um, the circuit. This will be great. This will be something different if both sides are dodgy. <laughs> I bet you. So I've put in the other leg and that's not tripped. So we've got, we'll go up now and see what we've got working from what's not working. That's not working. I expect that one not to be working also. <laughs> That's working. So out of um, one, two, three, four, five, six, we've got one working so far. One of these legs should be live. All right, so that's the live piece. Not that, not that. So we've got that one. Well, that tells me if that's correct, then that means it comes from the fuse board over to there, then to here, and continues to ring round and back to the board. So I'm going to reconnect this. Reconnected that leg, disconnected this, switch it back on, see what happens. Stay in. Let's see what works now. This one should be working. What's that saying? Neutral and live. Oh, yes, <laughs> I'm going to connect it the wrong way around, do not I? See that? I've got it connected the wrong way around. Oh my day, look at that. Well, neutron's got neutral to... Oh, 
Hello, are you still electrical? Hello, yeah, um, I think you leave a message earlier. Oh, um, oh, perhaps, about a test, wasn't it? If you, could you send me a text to my, e to my um, phone? To let, um, What's your number? Is this the number? 079. Thank, you, Thank you. Bye. Thanks, bye. Right, so that one's not... That one's still not working. How? <coughs> that one's still not working. So that's... I was thinking that that could be the first one from the fuse board. That's what I was thinking, but it's not the first one from the fuse board. Right, so that needle there is down to earth. I think it comes here. Just measure it. Trust the old mega back. There you are. So it looks like there's a short here and it goes over to there. So that one, I'm going to reconnect it with this one, see what happens. Well, this one hasn't worked out as simple as I like. It seems like there's a fault between this socket outlet there and that one in there, that one there. The rest, the way I've got it now, they're all working, but it kept tripping. And it seems like there's a earth to neutral fault, face to face to neutral fault, face to earth fault on that cable. It took me a bit of a while to find it out. Cause what, what happened was this one here, one leg phase earth neutral to earth was was um fine when I mega it 200 250 meg ohms and um the the other side neutral to earth is a dead short but when i put the when i switched it on it was it, it was it wasn't connected but it was live and it didn't trip so i couldn't understand what was going on there anyway I've sorted it out now oh there's the fuse board and that's the circuit there this one here and it's staying up it's not tripping so that's all good Go and test the sockets now. Yeah, uh, hi there, Delroy again. Um, yeah, that was a tricky little job. Um, it wasn't the usual split the ring and... Well, it was, but this was a bit more involved. I was getting faults everywhere. In the end, I um, uh, um, found a fault between one a leg in the landing to the bedroom. And then when I when I disconnected that leg, reconnected the ring fully, it worked. At first, when I put one side of the ring, I could only get I could get two sockets working, and then I could only get one socket. I said, uh, so it was a bit difficult, so I couldn't film. And plus, the camera started playing up <laughs> something about download app or something, and I couldn't get to film it unless I'd done that, and I didn't have a clue. This technology stuff. Once I, I get using it, then when it's ch when it changes, it just sets me back. <laughs> so I'll have to look into that. So I started using the phone again, um, but I couldn't really couldn't really um, film because I had to concentrate. Whenever things don't go as I thought, I have to concentrate and get the job done. And it's sort of hard to film and give updates. So I, the footage that I've got, I don't know if it's any good to you, but still, maybe Omari will judge whether it goes up or not. And um, anyway, I hope we can pick up something for it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.